I'm so excited today because I'm presenting the star of the week at Arthur International Magazine. And he is an artist very dear to our hearts. Someone who is constantly advocating for um, equality, inclusion, women's rights, and so many social issues. And his work has been recognized and awarded. He's an awarded uh, impressionist, uh, expressionist, abstract artist, figurative artist. Is very uh, thought provoking. He is Rick Hunt. Welcome, Rick. How are you doing? Thank you. Uh, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Yes. So, how are you feeling? This is a new year. I'm so excited that you are the artist of this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's a week that so many things are happening to in a national level in a in a world. You know. Uh huh. Yep. And you're right there. I mean, since since when have you had this this thought, this desire to to share this message? Well, I've I've grown up feeling this way, you know, believing in equality, um, and uh, but I never I, I really got involved in the last couple of years when I started seeing. Yeah, here we are in the 21st century, and there are some problems that still exist: inequality, right. uh, you know, um, lack of empowerment for women, the way women are being treated. And I'm re really frustrated that in the 21st century, this is what the crap we have to deal with. And okay. so I figured it was something that I could do. Is you know. It was with my work, I can just bring the message out and do the best I could um, to bring the message out. And so that's what I started doing and I've just been doing it ever since the last yeah. two or three years, uh, you know, full time right, with it. And it really touches my heart. Um, and I think any journalist that has written about you and you have been spoken about very much recently um, it gets their attention, the fact that there is a male artist um, focusing on this theme, right? Mm -hmm. Focusing on this subject that cripples our society. We should be, like you say, uh, 2021, we should be in a so much better place right now when it comes to equality, and we're not. I agree. And when you were growing up, was there female influences in your life that you think inspire you or, you know, where in your subconscious uh, put a seed there for what you're doing right now? Um, well, actually, this may sound weird, but when Helen Reddy did her I Am Woman song, and I know, uh, you know, she was singing about me, it, it made me realize that the words that she was saying was real, you know, the, 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 the meaning behind it, the essence behind it. And Melissa Etheridge was another, uh, music has always been very important to me and it's always reached me. And when I went, I went to the little fair music festivals, uh, which was all, you know, female artists. And it was very, very inspirational, you know, and so it just built up when, when I was younger. Um, and then, of course, you know, it, nowadays, I mean, back in the, you know, the 70s, I listened to Gloria Steinem, who was a feminist, and, but still it, it made sense to me, you yeah. know, and, and a lot of men that I would hear, you know, the derogatory things they would say, and I realized that, you know, that she and people like her and, you know, um, were making sense, you know, and I keep thinking back to, you know, Dr. King's, I have a dream speech. When I heard him give that, uh, he wasn't necessarily talking about women. He was talking about all people, but it, it really struck home to me. So, and I was 12 when I heard him give that speech. And so ever since, you know, these, these are the things that I've never forgotten. And then when I started doing my own work, I became some of my paintings 
were more modernistic and, and you know, paintings I don't even show anymore because they don't send any kind of a real message. And so like I you know, told you a minute ago, when I decided to go into this, I just basically cut myself off from any of my old messages, my old paintings that were not uh, uh, putting out any kind of message that I want to put out now. <clears throat> I painted over a lot of them. Some of them, they're still sitting here, but you know, I want, I want uh, it's been a cumulative thing since, you know, my whole life. And I'm, I'm at this point now where I'm just taking it and, you know, keep trying to strengthen myself and the, the resolve to, to make these statements. And that's where I, you know, that's where I am. That's so awesome. And I think it takes a lot of courage for an artist to do that. How has been the change? How how's the feedback from the audience you've seen from from the moment that you you shift? There was a shift in, in your career, in your life, in, oh, yeah. in what you were yeah. creating. How do you see the change on the feedback from public and the welcome from the audience? Everything every, every, everything has been positive. Those people who knew me, you know, before I started, you know, doing doing this series. They, 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 they're very supportive in my change, you know, but the, everybody th these days is um, um, very supportive of what I'm doing because they just basically believe the same things I believe. So I am, you know, doing out there doing these, saying these things. And I don't, I haven't had any derogatory comments about my, equality, you know, uh, paintings. That's fantastic. And I, I, there's something that I've been uh, saying or repeating for years. And I, and one of the things that I admire about, about your work is that one is, I, I, I think that came out of my mouth probably like four or five years ago was that there's going to be artists who are there for the big shift. Because I know it's like in our hearts, we know there's a big shift coming. And you're one of them, absolutely. You're there with the times, but it has been not because you're doing it for, for commercial purposes. You're just following that godly intuition, connecting to source, to, to the needs of humanity. And I think that's an incredible message for any artist that is watching on Facebook Live or whatever they, they get to watch this is how much um, you get supported when you just follow, you know, the message. You follow your heart, right? Uh, yes, yes, I am. I'm, I'm painting these paintings because I want to, and and because I want to. I want to, you know, make these um, sayings and and tell these these stories about, you know, in the various paintings. And I'm painting them my way as an expressionist artist. I get a lot. Of, I get more comments about expression uh, and negative comments about expressionism than I do about, you know, the message itself, but I'm doing it because it's me. It's real. Every, everything is me. Expressionism is a home that I found that, that is just me, you know, and, and uh, that's, so that's all I want to paint. And the messages are also me. And I don't do it for money. I mean, I mean, if when I, when I sell a painting, that's great. Of course, I can use the money, but I'm not painting them to sell. If I were painting them to sell, I would be painting an entirely different way, and then that wouldn't be me. I want to paint what my message is my way, you know. And I and, and there's honesty there, and it's it's really me. And I hope people like. I'm not a you know. I don't expect everybody to like them. Uh, whether they like them or whether they hate them, as long as they get the message, that's the important thing. If it make can make them think, if I, you know, if it makes somebody think that maybe they're feeling the way that way, either positive or negative, and make them make them feel a little uh, ashamed of themselves, you know, uh, yeah. that's that's good. As long as the message gets out, I th I agree with you, and I think if if a message makes someone, if the painting, if the art makes somebody uncomfortable. It's anyway, it's going to provoke them to think, right? To right. kind of have a, a thought process of why. I mean, I hope so. 
And even if they don't think about it, <laughs> they're going to get the message. They're oh, going to get, get the message. Because at any time, time they look at my painting, they're going to see the, 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 the message that I'm telling them, whether what they do with that, whether they uh, just, just keep it and think about it or they dismiss it, it's up to them. But uh, I said, what's up to me is to just tell the message, you know, and that's, mm -hmm. uh, that's what I'm doing. Exactly. That's incredible. What would you share with the younger generation today? Today, um, it's such an, well, it, it's a defining day also for our country. What would you share for artists who are emerging, the younger generations who are trying to make it in the art industry? And our turn between what do I do? Um, do I create this to, you know, fit uh, in this market or do I follow this path? Which is your I, challenge? I would tell them to follow their heart. I mean, basically, forget the market. The market's there. You know, I've sold more paintings when I wasn't trying to sell, when I was just painting a message, you know, and, and, and I know people have to make money, they have to eat but they also have to be true to themselves. And any younger person, you know, I would say, even if you have to wait tables or pump gas or something to, in order to pay the rent, when you're painting, and there's nothing wrong with that, I've done it, you know, we all, we've all done it to, to pay the rent. Yep. Uh, but, but to be true to yourself and paint what is really you and the way you really want to do it, that's the only way you're going to feel good about it the only way you're going to be satisfied, and that satisfaction will pay off. You'll find people who like what you're doing and think the same way you do. And, you know, there'll be there are collectors out there that'll find you if you're true to yourself. And that's, that would be my message to them. Great. And you know what? I'm glad that you touched that subject. It's one that I always share with the artists, and is that, It's okay for the artist to have more than one uh, source of income. It's okay to have a part-time job, whatever type of job you need to have to survive and to make it and to be at peace, to know that your bills are being paid and you can create freely right. as opposed to, you know, I'm not going to work. I'm not going to do anything until I sell something. And then you're stressed. And at that point, you're really not creating freely because you have so much going on in your mind. So that's, that's a, Thank you for sharing that that piece mm -hmm. of information too, because that's important for especially for the younger artists. I believe it is. Yeah, I mean, if you pay for if you paint for the for for commerce, you're not really creating. And and but you need if you get a part time job that'll help you pay the rent, that frees up your mind from worrying about it, and you can concentrate your mind on your work until you get older and can do it without the other job. Exactly, exactly. So what are you working on a specific series now? Um, I'm working, the one I'm working on now, uh, well, the one I just finished is a painting called uh, The Sky is the Limit, you know, and it shows a woman you know, like reaching up to the sky because the sky is the limit as to what women can do these days and, you know, whether, how they can, what they can reach for and accomplish. And the one I'm working now on now is called Opening Doors. And it, it will show women walking through an open door with like a blue sky on the other side of the door, because the doors are, you know, where if we can open those doors and walk through those doors, you know, there's, there's good times you know, on the other side. But it's important to go through the doors. And finally, the doors are beginning to open. I have to see those images. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you have to share that with us eventually because I really would love to see those. I think open. I think uh, the sky is the limit is on my website. If not, I'll put it there. But the other one I'm not done yet. Uh, I've got, you know, if you if you want to laugh, I, I, on my YouTube channel, I've been making movies, uh, videos of myself painting, opening doors, and you can see see that. There, you know, it's like a different states of completion, you know, different video, like three or four videos so far, five, I think. I mean, I'm going crazy with the videos on this painting because I think it's an important painting. And I, it's a, like a celebration in the sense that the doors are beginning to open and people are beginning to walk through them. 
Absolutely, absolutely. I think so. And I'm so happy that that's happening and that well, there's artists out there like you um, bringing that awareness. And we're going to need you to to keep doing it for a while because this is not over yet. It's just the Oh, beginning. I know that. I'm not stopping. I mean, I, I, do, <laughs> I do other series too. I do that psychological series and I do paintings that are, that are just generic subjects. Um, but my primary focus is the empowerment series. And that's what I'm working on most. And I, it's not going away. I'm not, I, you know, I, I, I would love to, to, for it to be over with right now and no more need for these paintings, you know, yeah. no, no need. The story has been told. Everything's fine, you know, but it's not fine. And there is still a need. And as long as I'm breathing and there is, as long as there's a need for these paintings, I want to keep doing them. Wow. Thanks so much, Rick. You know that from the woman perspective, I don't know if any any woman ever told you, but it, it's, for me as a curator, of course, um, I see it from, from a different perspective, but when it comes to the human side of me, the, the women in me that has gone through so many challenges that went through abuse and so many other yeah. sufferings that I think eight out of 10 women go through, um, there is a sense of support and kind of uh, love, you know, peace in the heart when I see your paintings, when I hear you speaking, because I it, it comes from from a male, you know, and that is a healing. That is a healing. I think that has a healing uh, purpose on your work is Good. knowing that the same sex that probably hurt us. Uh, is healing us too. And that's important for women. So that's how important it is the, the male uh, influence. And we underestimate that. And the world needs female and, and male. And, you know, the yin and the yang, that's, that's what we talk about. That, that healing, I feel through your paintings. Good. And it's just Good. that thing in the heart is, okay, here is a guy um, healing my heart, you know, it's, it's, there's no words, as you can see. <laughs> I have no words. I get goosebumps because I, I wanted to share that with you so that you are aware yeah. of Thank you. how much goodness and, and, and love in, you know, you're sharing through your work. Good. Thank you. That's, that's, that's good to hear that it is actually making, uh, um, people are, are, are getting, getting it. Yeah, yeah, there's that connection. Definitely, you have that direct connect, direct line to the source that's giving you this, this incredible inspiration. Well, I want to thank you for your time. It has been incredible. And where can we go see your works? So the audience wants to see or hear or know more about you. Where can they go? Uh, they can go to my website, which is rickcon.com. Uh, that's where you know, most of my images will be. I, I mean, I've, I've got it broken up into the different series, so you can see the, the, the series itself. Um, there's another website called Singular Art. Um, I, it's like an or, online gallery type thing, uh, and I have artwork there. But my, the, the main body of my work is in my website, rickcon.com. And I, uh, you know, like I said uh, a minute ago, I do have that YouTube channel now. It only ha it has some of my, uh, it had my interviews, like the Art to Heart interview is on there and other interviews I've done. And then I'm doing, uh, starting on a series. So I've got the series, the Open Doors, Opening Doors series uh, videos. That's about it. I've just started that this week. So there's a whole lot on it. But that's a place to go. <laughs> okay. or laugh. You can watch me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, great we'll be beginning then and i'll put that on the comments i'm gonna check your youtube and share it on the comments so people can go visit as well okay thank you thanks rick well thanks everyone for watching stay tuned for the next and for now we enjoy the start of the week rick con his website is www.rickriccon.com I'll put it in the comments too and go visit the website and support the artist. <laughs> Thank you.